medical dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about. Study finds why upper respiratory infections are more common when it's cold. A recent study published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology offers the first biological mechanism to explain why viruses like the common cold, flu and COVID-19 are more likely to spike in colder seasons, according to the authors. The study builds on a 2018 study that uncovered an innate immune response triggered when bacteria is inhaled through the nose. The 2018 study also showed that the extracellular vesicle or the EVs shuttle protective antibacterial proteins through the mucus from the front of the nose to the back of it along the airway which then protects other cells against the bacteria before it gets too far into the body. For the new study, the researchers sought to determine if this immune response was also triggered by viruses inhaled through the nose, which are the source of some of the most common upper respiratory infections. The researchers analyzed how cells and nasal tissue samples collected from the noses of patients undergoing surgery and healthy volunteers responded to three viruses, a single coronavirus and two rhinoviruses that caused the common cold. They found each virus triggered an EV swarm response from nasal cells, albeit using a signaling pathway different from the one used to fight off bacteria. The researchers also discovered a mechanism at play in the response against the viruses. Upon their release, the EVs acted as decoys carrying receptors that the virus would bind itself to instead of the nasal cells. The researchers then tested how colder temperatures affected this response, which is especially relevant in nasal immunity given the internal temperature of the nose is highly dependent on the temperature of the outside air it inhales. They took healthy volunteers from a room temperature environment and exposed them to 4.4 degrees Celsius temperatures for 15 minutes and found that the temperature inside the nose fell about 5 degrees Celsius. They then applied this reduction in temperature to the nasal tissue samples and observed a blunted immune response. The quantity of EV secreted by the nasal cells decreased by nearly 42% and the antiviral proteins in the EVs were also impaired. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.